boldly going where no man-made object has ever gone before. The plutonium-powered Voyager's original mission was to study the outer planets of the solar system, but after completing its first task, it just kept on going. We're in a truly alien environment. The material in which Voyager finds itself is not created by the sun. It's created, in fact, by, by our neighboring stars, um, supernova remnants, and so forth. And so Voyager, in, in some very real sense, is, is material that's not from the medium in which it finds itself. So we've truly crossed over. Voyager started its journey towards the outer solar system in September 1977. In 1979, it provided the first detailed images of Jupiter and its moons. The following year, it passed Saturn. Ever since, it's been heading towards interstellar space. It's now found it, almost 12 billion miles from home. But in space terms, that's no distance at all. It's not due to get near to another planet for another 40,000 years. Carrying with it a time capsule, about life on Earth, should anyone be interested. Imagine if it is picked up, I don't know, in a million or in a billion years, and there was still something there to listen to, still something to understand, you know. What kind of things would they wonder about us? Or, or, you know, or some super advanced human race picks it up, who knows? It, it, just a fascinating insight into how we were back then. What's next for Voyager? Well, it'll just keep on going further and further into space, transmitting back data on the previously unknown for as long as its batteries last. And all of this using less computing power than your smartphone. James Banks, Sky News.